hello everyone and welcome back to the channel you know it's wolf and um yes finally i'm checking out this video um mr beast i built 100 houses and gave them away he came to jamaica yes so this is why i'm reacting to it <laughs> i know he came here before and and um helped treat uh blindness for some people but this right here kind of really resonates with me because when I was a when I was a young child, the house that we are currently currently living in was given to us. It, it, it um it happened like like through the, through the church that we were that we were a member of at the time. So I can relate because of that, and because I can relate, I can dismiss some of the criticisms that people might be having like with Mr. Beast giving away homes in a foreign country to people who desperately need them. Right, dear, right, that's all. Your opinion does not matter. What matters is the people's lives that are going to change for the better because of this. And uh, if you are upset at, if you are upset at that, why didn't you give them, why didn't you give them a house? Yeah? Why didn't you build a hundred houses in a foreign country and give them away to families that could not possibly think of affording them? Or find our finances that they could have put towards something else something better something more important when it comes to the children but um that's enough of that because because i took so long to to, to react to this um a lot i've come across a lot of things that people keep criticizing mr beast I, yes it makes the the country's government look bad and uh, they should look bad because they yes they they know about this problem they know about this problem but they're not doing anything to fix it. And uh, this just goes to show that the government really isn't working in your favor, you know. And they really aren't helping the people of the country. And uh, some people might say that the government probably d doesn't have the money to do that. And uh, yeah, you have a point right there. But uh, I, don't have, uh, I don't have to listen to that point. And uh, I don't have all the information. I'm just speaking from pure opinion right now. But yeah, guys, enough of that. Sorry to, to just put something, uh, such a heavy intro to the video. Let's get this. If you're, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. This is, yeah, I react to everything, music, funny stuff, and things that I feel like I can relate to or enjoy or feel interesting. You know, I react to that. So if you're interested, welcome to the channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate you. And welcome back to the channel. So let's get this. Let's get this. This will. <laughs> In this video, we are building and giving away 100 houses. And each home is going to change a family's life. Like this family, who didn't have a house to call their own. And they have no idea we just built them one. Take off your blindfolds and turn around. Behind you is your brand new home. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that reaction. She is freaking out. I always want them to have a bunk bed. I'm a dream come true. And this is just the yes. first of 100 houses we're giving away. First. <laughs> I'm glad they're happy. Let's go give away another house. With every single home, we're. Uh, I, I love her reaction, but it seems a little bit too much. But I can understand if it's a life changing, life changing event for, for the better of your future. We're building in this video, we're improving quality of life for families who don't have what? a single home. We're building in this video, we're improving quality of life for families who don't have a safe space to call home. And we yes. spend millions of dollars just on this video building these houses. Because here in Jamaica, there are currently over half a million people living in unsafe, life-threatening conditions. Like this next family, whose house is so unsafe and unstable that it could literally collapse on them at any given moment. So you built this place. Yes, literally. This is this is true. This is true. Because I've experienced it, bro. This is true. And um <laughs> the people on Twitter that get upset whenever Mr. Beast does this is probably because he, they don't like him, you know. And me, I don't agree with everything that he does. Yes, I'm on the internet um more often than some than some people and uh, yes, people have problems with his best friend you know i might be one of those people but <laughs> but yo that doesn't that doesn't affect that doesn't affect me can acknowledge him for one being genuine and, and sticking with his friend regardless of whatever um, people say and uh, second 
making lives better for people that cannot make it better for themselves. And if their government aren't stepping in, I don't have a problem with that. So what my opinions are of him and, how, and who he chooses to, to associate with does not, ma does not matter. You got to look uh, objectively at the situation and not just work off of how you feel of who he decides to associate with or what type of um, influence his content might be on the young ones coming up, you know? But young ones, I mean, I mean children coming up. But yeah, that's besides the point. I just wanted to touch on it because I know there's going to be that one person in the, in the comment that, that will, like, will actually, <laughs> or bringing up um, something to, the, to that effect, you know? I just want to get that out of the way. Yeah. By yourself. And we in Jamaica, we don't, most people, we don't, we don't agree with none of, none of that crazy stuff that's going on over in, over in America because we are a, a very religious country. A very. Not saying that a few of those people might not, might, not saying that a few of those people don't exist in Jamaica, but it's very, it's a very minimal scale and we value our re, re, religious values. So I'm just putting that out there to let you guys understand. Yeah, I brought boards and all materials, they see. But we're on top of a mountain, so you carried all this material up this mountain. Yep. On my head. head. Wow. Yes. We knew we yes. wanted to build this family exactly. house. So we sent them on a mini vacation so that we had enough time to work with our partners to build them a brand new home. And that, okay. You see this home right here? Look like the exact thing. This is what we got when I was younger. Like looking at the, it might have been a different color, but looking at the house, I, I might have a freaking thumbnail uh, that, uh, that I recently made for one of my videos, the update video, like when, um, to let you guys know that I'm back and will be posting videos after Hurricane Barrel. I'll put that up on the screen so you guys see at least a little bit of what the house looks like because these um, donation houses, I got, uh, we got ours from Food for the Poor. Yes, that is <laughs> literally it. I'm not ashamed to talk about it now. Um, when I was a child and like, you kind of felt like you were being made fun of or teased for not having a certain level of means in your life. But now that I'm older and I more mature in my way of thinking, I can, I can understand that you don't have to be ashamed of for not having the means to afford certain things. You just need to acknowledge what it is and try to make the best choices that you can accumulate the means that you might, uh, might not have while growing up or stuff like that. But I'm talking too much already and the video is nine minutes and <laughs> he hasn't reached anywhere. But let's, let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this because, yeah. But this reminds me of the, uh, right exactly of my house, I'm telling you. You're about to witness a... F and I'm talking about the one that I currently live in. We're, we're doing some construction to, 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 to um, get more rigid structure, but that's, uh, that's a bit, that's a bit um, off in the distance, the future, but let's go. Family that lives in this house go to living in this house. And yes. I cannot wait to see the look on their faces. Oh my. <laughs> you even what got a freaking tank. Your brand new a water tank. The trip we sent you guys on was just a decoy so we could have time to build this brand new house for you. You want to see the inside? Come check it out. Whoa. <laughs> we noticed that you guys might need some new furniture. So we completely furnished your new home. Now, on top of electricity, <laughs> you have a water tank for running water. We put bunk beds in this room for two yes. of the kids. Oh my. And if you go across the hallway, you'll see your bedroom. Ooh, nice. With a little crib, because I heard you had a newborn. <laughs> Tara, that's you. They even made, made swans to put out a bed. Bro. The crib was being really hard. <laughs> and you guys changed my life. <laughs> yes. Here's. Yes. Uh, an ad coming in. It's officially. Yo, this is this is life changing for real, and I and I get how he feels. The deed to the house. Thank you guys so much. And it sucks, but some of these places that these families live are extremely unsafe, and in some cases life threatening. That's where this family currently lives. The mom yes. was telling us that that roof doesn't work. Whenever the rain fall, the whole place flooded all over here. Her kids get soaked and can't sleep. And as of today, yes, that will not happen again. We built that brand new home for you. Here's the keys. Oh my God! <laughs> I got a new house. <laughs> 
But of course, this was just the beginning. We were able to build home after home for families in Jamaica. And we weren't gonna stop until we had built 100 houses. But unfortunately, at our next destination, there's a river that destroys hundreds of homes every year. You see, during rainy season, this river flash floods, washing away all the homes and anyone unlucky enough to be inside. And Yo, that CGI is crazy, bro. That, that production quality is crazy top tier you can see the, the amount of funds he puts in these videos as you can see there's literally a fridge right there which i assume got there because their house got swept away exactly so you're saying when this floods those houses that currently have families living in them could potentially be destroyed yes they will well not on my watch because just a couple miles away we've built rows of new houses for this community no joke we're giving away this home 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 there's a lot of homes so we started with Maria and her daughter, whose previous home was completely demolished by the river during rainy season. And without even a bed to sleep in, every single day has been a struggle for them. Okay. All right, and since they don't speak English, can you translate for them to turn around and look at their brand new home? Puede darse vuelta. Aquí está tu nueva casa. Ay, Dios. Gracias, gracias, padrecito lindo. Bonito. Gracias. No problem. Come check out the inside. Oh, you want to give me a hug? Come on. <laughs> and while walking through their new home, we realized they didn't even know their house was free yet. Oh, you haven't told them it's no, free? No. Yeah, tell them. It's free. No van a pagar. Todo esto es suyo. Ay, gracias, padre. Congrats on the new home. Ay, papito. Bro, you're crazy for not telling me it was free. Me puedo acostar. Sí, se puede acostar. Ay, voy a dormir. What do you think of it? What'd she say? Can he hug you? Oh, of course. Gracias. This is why we do videos like that. Look how happy they are. Te lo agradezco con todo el corazón. I don't want you to have to worry about the river anymore. This is your brand new home. Enjoy the new home, little man. We heard they had a newborn, so we also got him a crib. See that row of houses behind me with the families blindfolded in front of them? We are not kidnapping the families. <laughs> We're giving them all houses at the same time. Eight families' lives are about to change forever. Attention, everybody. Remove your blindfolds and turn around and look at your brand new home. Hey. Congratulations. Hey, gracias por la casa, Jimmy. I got to go down. I need to see the yeah. reactions. What do you think of the new place? <laughs> Congrats. Hi. Can you ask them if they like their new house? Me gusta su nueva casa. Sí, sí. Yeah, you like the new home? Let's see if they do. What do you think of it? Gracias. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. I hope you like it. And now we're at the end of the row. What do you think of your new home? Wait, man. And this is my buddy now in Florida. Come over here. I have something way better than just a picture. Can you ask him if he wants to play football with me? Te pregunto si quieres jugar fútbol con él. Yeah. Well, that's convenient because not only are we giving this community houses, but we're also giving them this giant soccer field. And the best part is I have hundreds of kids waiting over here. We're going to surprise them. And this is the neighborhood's first look at their brand new soccer field. You know, I'm telling you, a place for the kids to play and and just get some freaking sun outside, exercise and all of that stuff. And because they're they're playing together, it helps bring the community together. Ah, yes, I see. Play some soccer. Enjoy your new soccer field. Go have fun. And of course, a new field had to come with brand new soccer equipment for all the kids. Make sure you guys hey. have a lot of fun on the soccer field. But I don't know if the soccer field was enough because all the kids started demanding feastables. Feastables! All right, here's some feastables. They really love feastables here. Yo, yo, product placement, product placement. <laughs> yes, I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But yeah, this is product placement. <laughs> And yeah, you gotta pay bills, you know. I will start carrying more feastables. Fiesta fue el mejor que her cheese. I don't know what he said, but if he said it tastes good, then he's correct. Start carrying more feastables. Fiesta fue el mejor que her Feastables are better than Hershey's, okay. I don't know what he said, but if he said it tastes good, then he's correct. <laughs> but of course, outside of this community, more families across El Salvador were in need of safe housing. So on our way out, we built as many houses as we possibly could. But we're only halfway there because a small community Oh, so it wasn't only it wasn't only in Jamaica, but yes, he he went to different places across the world and built homes. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> Yo, and I'm telling you, people are upset at that. People are upset that he is the one doing it. I don't know why. I don't know why they don't like Mr. Beast like that, but maybe 
some people are, are thinking, <laughs> well, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's, I, I'm going to keep that one thought to myself, you know? But yeah, let's go. The mark of the beast, you know? <laughs> but that's just the freaking, my brain running and with, with his name and all of that stuff. But yeah. In Argentina also needed our help and we built house after house to ensure that every single child in this community had a safe place to learn and grow but we still weren't done so we even flew all the way over to Mexico where we continued to build house after house for all of these communities and when we arrived in our next destination in Colombia, we found a community whose homes were ravaged by a brutal windstorm. The next family used to live in a house like this. I say used to because a tornado destroyed it. And clearly hey. these houses are in no way livable. And so, of course, we built John and Anna a brand new home. And now all we have to do is give it to them. This family has no idea they're about to get that house. Right there is good. Okay, take them off. Congrats! I know it might not seem real, but this is legitimately your house. You want to unlock the front door? They're all in shock, and to be honest, I don't even think they believe this is their house. They may not be saying anything, but the tears say a lot. Congrats, man. Congrats. This is yours. Oh, <laughs> bastante. Nosotros iniciamos con una una habitación prefabricada. Tenemos casa. But John and Anna weren't the only ones that needed help in Colombia. So you can probably guess what we did for the rest of the community. <laughs> it shouldn't be a stretch that everyone in the world deserves a safe roof over their head. Yeah. But not every house we built went quite so smoothly. Uh, I accidentally broke the lock to the door. Their furniture's still outside, which we were gonna move in there. The family just pulled up. We put bars on the window, so I can't get in. I don't really know what to do. Okay, you see those bars on the on the windows? That's a security feature. And in certain places, even in Jamaica, you have to have bars on the windows and the doors. Yes, <laughs> because of certain areas where where you live in. Even though you have a safe roof over your head, you have to pre prevent against intruders. You know, it's it's unfortunate, but there are unsavory people everywhere you go in the world. You know, but let's go. Do. We're very screwed. All right, guys, uh, the family's here. Looks like we're out of time. No, no, you know you. Hey, how's it going? Come on over. Okay, so I don't know. I think I broke the lock. I can't get the door open. Here, can you try? Am I? Just, maybe I'm just dumb. No. Okay. Oh, what? Wait, how'd you do that? Yeah. Are we dumb? <laughs> All right, boys, come on in. And while personally, I'm not quite the best locksmith. Hey, you want to see it? You totally, they totally haven't seen any of the furniture yet. What mattered most is that Jose and his family now had a place to call home. They don't have to worry about a home anymore. And we also heard their only means of transportation broke down. And so, one more surprise. We also got you guys a brand new motorcycle. Here you go. Thank you, gracias. No problem. Yeah. Now they have a brand new home and a way to get around. And this got me thinking. While giving away all these houses, I noticed a lot of people were struggling with transportation. And I got a solve in this truck. Open it up. We got bicycles for every single kid in this village. No problem, man. And after giving away 99 free homes, we still had one home left to give away. And finally, house 100. Take your blindfolds off and look at your new home. Congrats. Congrats. Oh, congrats. Congrats. Go check it out. Shout out to all our partners that helped build these houses and all. Eat the food for the poor. Yes, I'm telling you. I did not know they were involved with this, but that is how I, um, my family got our, our house when, when I was about like, I think about seven. I don't remember the exact year or how old I was at then, but I remember that I was young. And um, yeah, we were living in a, like a one bedroom shack, like a, 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 <laughs> a lot of us, there wasn't any space. Yo, we were trying our best to, to like, see if we could build up more uh, at the time. But yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> It was it was great. It was life changing. It, it did a lot for us. I'm telling you, and we were so grateful. 
<clears throat> what may I tell you? The people that are complaining on the internet, they have Wi-Fi. They have a safe roof over their heads. They, 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 um, they do not know what it is to like be homeless. If they do, they should not be complaining like that. They should. They know what if, if they know what it, how hard it is to be homeless, and they're still complaining that someone is stepping up and giving people a home. It's just, it's just crazy to me. They saying that the government, for whichever um, wherever these people live, should do it, but the government is not doing it. So what's wrong with someone else doing it for them? Yeah, it 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 makes the government look lazy, and uh, they come up with excuses that they don't have enough funds. But yeah, they might not have enough funds actually, but still, they should be trying to raise funds to solve this issue so there there are such a thing called fundraisers people but yeah i know there are a lot of moving parts might be might be in, involved and i don't know everything so people are gonna be in the comments probably upset because i said that yes <laughs> they could have done this and that they're just making excuses but yeah i don't really listen to the noise i just also, shout out to you guys, because obviously if you didn't watch- I just entertain myself, you know? Watch these videos, we wouldn't have been able to build a hundred houses. And if the channel continues to grow, I hope to do a thousand in the future. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Yo, people. That is it. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching. You know, I, I, I talked a lot, so it's freak this video is double the runtime, you know? <laughs> so, 20 videos. Or some are somewhere like that um thank you all for watching the video i appreciate it yes and um i would very much like it if you would subscribe yes uh with that with that said i'd like you guys to enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and um i'll see you in the next one follow all the links in the description share the videos all of that you know it's wolf peace out itekimasu let's get this let's get it yeah <laughs>